yo, uh, you know, I'm Rick Polito, man. You know, I was uh, born and raised in Texas, moved to California. That's where I live now. Moved to Southern California, Sacramento. I've been there about 20 years, you know. I don't know why I talk like I'm from New York, you know, because I'm really from Texas, you know. He, he you know, I think it happened like in the third grade. It's, I mean, it's been funny all my life, but in the third grade, it's like I noticed I had an audience, you know, because um, what happened is our regular teacher was six, so we had like this prostitute teacher, right? And uh, <laughs> see, because I always mispronounce words, you know, and, and so I would talk what I thought was normal, but people would laugh. So all my life, I would just talk and people would laugh, all my life. And when I was a kid, I used to have an act. I didn't even know it, because in Mexican culture, when you have dinner, it's like all these people, right? So you have after dinner, everybody be sitting in the perimeter of the living room, and I'd be in the middle, and I'd start doing all this stuff. And now I realize I had an act. You know, I did this thing. You know, I've been doing this so long, it doesn't matter what the crowd is, I'm gonna turn them over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them laugh. But on a, a drunk crowd, all you do is what I call hoorah stuff. You just say whatever. It, it, it doesn't have to be clever. You just do stupid stuff. Then everybody you know? hits the laugh track. Yeah, or you do dick jokes or whatever, and, and they'll laugh. So, but I work really hard in my material, and I, and, and I write it clean as much as I can. Because mm -hmm. you can always dirty it if you have to, but clean is, it's a challenge to me. And also, if you write clean, your work is more expandable. You know, you can do cruises, you can do corporate stuff. That's where the money is, you know. And you can do private shows, things like that. You know? So I like a crowd that pays attention because then I can do the material that when you hear it, you go, ah, oh, that's funny, that's clever, you know. If you're born a comedian, you can't help it. It's gonna come out. It's gonna come out at home. It's gonna come out at school. Everybody knows that you're the funny guy. They don't call you a comedian. You just, wherever you are, people just laugh. When you open your mouth, the, just the way you say things don't press them or your words, whatever, you're just funny. You know, if you're not a comedian, technically you can learn how to be a comedian. There's formulas, so you can do that. Now, <clears throat> if you're if you're a technician, meaning you're not really born with it. It's like drawing. Even though you're talented to draw, you still have to go to school, right, to, to learn your craft and to, and, and, and to hone it. And nothing better than experience, doing it. So the best way is stage time, stage time. Stage time, stage time, stage time. The more you're on stage, the more you get, the better you get. You know, you can